हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द मेमोरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन ऑफ सी एस आई आर नेट विच हेल्ड ऑन सिक्सटीन सितंबर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज जे ओ वाई इज इक्वल्स टू इंटीगल माइनस वन टू जीरो एंड दिस फंक्शनल एंड इनिशियल कंडीशन इज वाई एट जीरो इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड वाई एट माइनस वन इज इक्वल्स टू वन एंड ऑप्शन आर माइनस एक्स क्यूब एक्स स्क्र एंड दिस नाउ फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट Uh, extremal for this given question. Now for uh, uh, for extremal we use uh, Euler necessary equation for this question. That is, uh, curl f upon curl y minus d of uh, d upon dx of uh, curl f upon curl y prime, which is equals to zero. Uh, using this equation. Uh, as f as functionally is equals to twelve x y minus y prime square. Now, uh, curl f upon curl y is equals to twelve x, and uh, curl f upon curl y prime is equals to minus two y prime. Now, using equation one, that is a uh, Euler necessary equation. We have twelve x minus d upon d x of minus two y prime is equals to zero. Now, using differentiation, we have twelve x plus two y double prime is equals to zero. Now. To common out and cancel out, so we have y double prime plus six x is equals to zero. And now, written in the equation this form. Now, uh, using integration on both side, we have y prime is equals to minus six x square upon two plus constant, where a is a arbitrary constant. And again, integration. With respect to x, we have y is equals to minus x cube plus a x plus b, where a and b are arbitrary constant. Now, using initial uh, in initial conditions, we have y at zero is equals to zero. Uh, this implies that b is equals to zero, and again y at minus one is equals to one. This implies that one is equals to minus or minus one plus a minus one. This implies that a is equals to zero. Now, you uh, putting the value of a and b in equation. Star and we have y is equals to minus x cube. Uh, so for this question, uh, answer is answer will be minus x cube and these options are incorrect. Now come to next memory based question. That is, uh, we have given that uh, second order uh, linear differential equation in which uh, a into u double x plus b into u x y plus a u into x y y is equals to zero. And a and a and b are belongs to set of real number. And now we have to find out the reason that is hyperbolic, parabolic, elliptic, and hyperbolic. These options actually are misprint. So pairing this given equation with the general second order differential equation, we have r is equals to a, s is equals to b, and t is equals to a. Now using a, a standard equation for uh, find out the nature of the reason that is s square minus four r t which is equals to b square minus four a square. Now our condition is for elliptic reason s square minus four r t should be less than zero. This implies that b square minus four a square less than zero. This implies that b square less than four a square, and this implies that in mathematics can be written as this form. This implies that. Uh, mode of b less than two time of mode of a. Uh, now we check, and uh, our result match with this equation. Give any option. So option a is correct. I also verify that uh, for hyperbolic s square minus four r t greater than zero, which implies that mode of b greater than two time of mode of a. Uh, this implies that this incorrect and. Uh, Is not given, so cut out. And now, for parabolic, s square minus four r t is equals to zero. This implies that b square minus four a square is equals to zero. And further calculation mod of b is equals to two time of mod of a. And in given option, we have this inequality. So option, so option for this question, option C is correct. Now come to next memory based question. That is, uh, we have given that. Uh, X uh, is a connected metric space such that uh, cardinality of this uh, space is uh, at least two. That is, uh, cardinality of this is greater than equals to two. Now, in question, we have to ask that which of the flowing are necessary true? And given options are cardinality of X is equals to zero, 
cardinality of x is a elif node and cardinality of x greater than equals to continuum and option d cardinality of x is equals to 2 now we have given that uh, x is a connected metric space such that cardinality of x is this now uh, if this if it's have uh, already two elements or more elements so we let a comma b belongs to x uh, as this is a x is a connected metric space this implies that uh, any convex linear combination of uh, a comma b belongs to x uh, must belongs to x uh, we also let uh, x is equals to set of uh, real line uh, this implies that uh, x has at least uncountable number of element this implies that cardinality of x is greater than equals to c uh, so for this question uh, option c is correct and option a b and a and d are incorrect actually any convex linear combination is work like a like segment which contain uncountable number of points of metric space that's why option c is correct come to next memory based question that is uh, uh, let cardinality of g is 168 and g is a simple group actually simple group implies that uh, g have no proper normal subgroup that is normal subgroup normal subgroup of g r g and this only now in question we have to ask about how many elements of uh, uh, orders how many element of order 7 in g now as we know that cardinality of g is 168 now fraction uh, fraction this uh, number and uh, actually we have to find out here order 7 element so we concentrate on this number uh, using silo first theorem this implies that g has silo subgroup silo 7 subgroup and uh, its order will be 7 because its higher power is 1 now using the silo third theorem uh, we have a number of uh, 7 silo subgroup in the form of 1 plus 7 m where m belongs to 0 1 2 3 and so on and uh, 1 plus 7 m divide order of g as uh, order of g is 168 this implies that 1 plus 7 m uh, 1 plus 7 m divide 168 that is 2 power 3 into 3 into 7 as we know that uh, from number theory 1 plus 7 common 7 is gcd is 1 so using ghost lemma 1 plus 7 m divide 2 power 3 into 3 and this implies that 1 plus 7 m divide 24 uh, this implies that uh, 1 plus 7, 7 m should be 1 or 8 now come to if uh, 1 plus 7 m is equals to 1 this implies that silo uh, uh, 7 subgroup is unique uh, so using result silo uh, 7 subgroup of order 7 is normal uh, this is incorrect because g is a simple group given so this case not possible now 1 plus 7 should be 8 that is there are 8 silo subgroup in g and uh, as we know that in a seven silo seven silo subgroup of order seven that is order seven order seven group that is prime order group uh, it's have uh, six element of order seven now for uh, eight cell uh, seven silo subgroup it have a uh, 48 element of order seven this implies that uh, g has a 48 element of order seven now come to options uh, option a b c are incorrect and option